Hey guys, welcome to another BCD golf video. Now I have a question for you. Do your bunker shots look like this? Honestly, if you clicked on this video, I'm gonna assume the answer to that is yes. I don't care what any other YouTube teacher has taught you. I don't care what any pro has taught you. I'm gonna say something really controversial right now. They've all taught you wrong. Huh. Now the reason why is they're not thinking like you. They don't understand when they tell you something, what that means to you. Well, let's teach you the right way. We're not gonna teach you the how, we're gonna teach you the why. That's gonna help you learn the how. All right, welcome to BCD Golf. I'm Brandon, this is my channel. Nothing to do with any sort of tutorials, but today that's what we're gonna do. So I'm gonna teach you everything you need to know about getting out of those pesky little greenside bunkers. This is for the high handicappers too. Just trust me, I've taught this to people that are 20, taught it to people that are 25. It's a lot simpler than they make it out to be. Here's the biggest problem that I see. Everybody's telling you, hit two inches behind the ball. That's all you gotta do. That's not good, that's not gonna work. See, because the problem is, if you teach an amateur to do that, what are they gonna do? They're gonna focus so much on going behind the ball that they're gonna come in really steep and go behind the ball two inches. Yeah, they went two inches, but they went steep. That's not good. When I'm gonna go and hit my driver, do I wanna take my driver and hammer down on the ball like that to make it go forward? No, that's crazy, right? What am I gonna do? I'm gonna propel this golf club forward to get that momentum into the ball. The same thing happens out of the sand. So if I come up and I'm going into the sand and I want the ball to go that way, why would I go like this? That doesn't make any sense, that's insanity. At the start of this, the first thing I want you to do, stop thinking about hitting two inches behind the ball. I never want you to think about it again. Our job is to set ourselves up so that that's the result. So I'm sitting here, I have a standard chip shot, right? When I want to hit a chip shot, I want to catch the ball, and then I want to catch the turf. Now, how do I do that? Well, my club swings on an arc, and what I do as a golfer is get myself in a position so that the bottom of that arc is after the golf ball. That way, there's no way for me to do anything but hit ball first. When we do this, what we do is we set up to the ball, we load up our lead leg. Even me, I put this ball off my front heel. I'm still going to be hitting ball first. And all we do, we keep those legs tight, and there we go. Easy. So yeah, we hit, you know, the, the grain's going into us a little bit. We dragged a little bit, but we hit ball first. We hit it clean. We chipped it nicely. It's, you know, five feet from the hole. I didn't even spend any time thinking about it. I just got up and hit it. The setup for the bunker is almost identical, So here's the difference. So let's say this is the ground, and I'm going to hit my chip shot. So I have my ball. My ball is sitting here. Okay. I go to hit my chip shot. I have this arc. What am I doing with this arc? Well, I'm making sure that the arc ends around here, right? So that it comes down, bottoms out, touches the ground here, and then it continues up. In the sand trap, we know we want to enter two inches behind the ball, and we know we want to exit around an equal amount on the other side. The thing is, we have this arc, and if you paid attention in math class, when you have an arc and it comes to just a straight line, it's only going to hit it once, unless we take this arc here and we now move it underneath this ball. Now this arc is touching two inches behind the ball, two inches in front of the ball. That is the key. It's the only thing you need to think about. All right, so let's move into the bunker and we'll show you how it works. It's really this simple, guys. But again, if you stop thinking about hitting two inches behind the ball and you think about lowering that arc, honestly, just thinking about that is going to be enough. So. I'm gonna set up just like I did for my chip shot, right? I'm gonna set the ball up there. I'm gonna have a nice narrow stance. I'm gonna hold the club the way I did. And then our expectations, we're gonna clip this ball first. It's probably not gonna go anywhere, but that's okay. So let's just do that. See, it's exactly what we did. We caught the sand, the ball was here. We caught the sand after, perfect chip shot. But we don't wanna do that. We need to actually enter behind them. So we're gonna put the ball in the same spot. Now, one of the ways to do this, and I'm going to illustrate it here, I'm just going to set the club down. Now, I'm going to hold my hands here, and I'm not going to do anything. I'm just going to very lightly have them on the grip. Watch what happens when I move my back leg back. I spread out my stance. Did you notice? My hands went lower on the grip. They go higher, they go lower. Well, that tells us something. If we just step out, we've now lowered our arc. Now it's under the ball. So now, even without anything else, I'm going to do that exact same shot and now watch what's going to happen.
Like, that's 90% of it right there. I didn't do anything different except move this leg. So that's the first thing that you're gonna do. We're gonna get set up. This is gonna be the line for our ball. We're gonna get set up like it's a chip shot. We're not gonna choke down on the club. We're gonna hold it in our normal spot. We're gonna open up that leg. We've lowered it. Next thing I want you to do, rotate. Rotate that club too far. Regrip it, it's open. This allows it to just slide through. Right, so now that we have this open when we hit, there we go, it bounces off all nice, just comes out all easy. I don't have to swing that hard, it cuts right through. So we need to transfer as much momentum this way into the ball as possible. Now we do that in a few ways. We're gonna set up on our lead heel. This is gonna force us to get that weight forward. We're gonna keep that weight forward. And we're not moving it anywhere for anything. This lower body is going to stay very stable. This foot, point it. Get those hips opened up. That's going to get you a little bit more stability. We have our club face. We have it open. We have our leg. We've moved it back. This is it. Now, how do we make sure we have that momentum? We've drawn this little line here. You may not be able to see it. My goal, I'm going to start with my club shaft aligned to that line. Right? So that it's as close as I can get. I mean, I drew it that way, so there we go. When I take it back, I'm gonna hinge, and then I'm gonna not move my weight. This weight's gonna stay, no lower body. We're gonna release that club head and try to match. When we impact into the sand, we wanna match. So our whole thing here is we're gonna get set up. Now our arc is lowered. We don't have to do anything else but swing this golf club. We're gonna open up that base. That just allows us to put more energy into the ball, put that weight on the forward leg, do nothing else but swing. Oh, that's going to go in the hole. Ooh. Actually, missed that by like an inch. That's it, guys. This is the whole thing. Did you notice how easy it was for me to swing that, too? I didn't swing hard. And the ball just came flying out. That is the entirety of it. So the next time you guys get stuck in a bunker, I want you to remember this. Your job is to lower that arc, that's it. Once you do that, keep your lower body still, let the arms do all the motion, and try to get as much momentum towards your target as possible. You'll be fine. Now I will say, if you just go out for the weekend, you end up in your first bunker and you try to do this, it's probably not gonna work out quite right. You're gonna have to learn as you work on it. All I want you to think about is lowering that arc. I don't want you thinking about anything else. Don't think about two inches behind the ball ever again. The, the end of that, no more. All we're gonna think about is lowering that arc. Now, there's a couple things that we'll notice too. If you notice that you're taking a ton of sand, chances are you're too low. Now I do this at the start of every season. I usually start too low and then I have to kind of slowly, you know, make your legs a little closer together, maybe bend your knees a little less, a bunch of other stuff. Just adjust it until you're hitting that about right. And that's it. Hey guys, this is not an educational channel, but hopefully this content is helpful for you all. I'm hoping we can get some of those 20 handicappers not scared of the bunkers anymore. And honestly, in a lot of holes, on a lot of situations, the bunkers are your friend. So just learn how to love them, learn how to get out of them, learn how to beat them, and that's it. Let's have a good time out there. All right, guys, thanks for watching this BZD Golf video. I'll see you in the next one.